State lawmakers could decide soon to override the governor's veto and allow people to carry concealed weapons without permits. Right now, if you want to carry a concealed handgun in Louisiana, you'll have to get a permit and do some training. As Mike McDaniel explains, this bill even has the law enforcement community split. You'll pull back on the slide. At gun training courses across the state, the aim is safety and education. We try to hammer home training as much as we can. That training and the permit, both required to conceal carry in Louisiana, could soon no longer be needed. That's if the state legislature overrides a veto from the governor on a constitutional carry bill. If we have the right to carry it openly without training, then we should have the right to carry it concealed without training because it's the same firearm, it's the same person. Representative Larry Freeman says he's optimistic there will be a veto override session. Part of his district includes part of Washington Parish, where Monday Sheriff Randy Seal became one of the first law enforcement leaders to publicly support constitutional carry. And he felt it was extremely important for his constituents and his people in Washington Parish to have constitutional carry. Seal's stance is echoed by the sheriffs of LaSalle and Bossier Parishes, but breaks with other sheriffs and police chiefs who publicly opposed the bill last week, asking the legislature not to override the governor's veto. Some Louisiana mayors are also joining the opposition, including the mayors of New Orleans, Baton Rouge, West Wego, and Shreveport. I believe it would be a great step backward. LaFouche Parish Sheriff Craig Weber says the concealed carry permitting process and the training are essential to safety. Lean into your weapon. The readily available access to concealed weapons not only is going to endanger the law enforcement community, it will endanger the general public as well. Freeman, who supports voluntary training, says current law already prevents criminals from legally buying a gun and that constitutional carry would only apply to law-abiding citizens. This has nothing to do with the criminals. And law-abiding citizens aren't robbing people, they aren't carjacking, they aren't killing people. They're just trying to protect them, themselves and their families. What that protection requires remains the target of debate until lawmakers right pull the trigger. The Mike right McDaniel, Eyewitness News. We should know Friday whether that veto override session will happen. That's the deadline for lawmakers to vote.